Guys, we're trying hard to get this thing out of here, and we must uh, hurry because the ground's saturated. Look at Brooklyn, close to 8 inches. The park, 6.29. JFK, look at the Hamptons. Islip, New Rochelle, 1.92. You know, beginning today, we were still below normal in terms of rainfall at least 48 hours ago, and now, man, alive. The floodgates open up. It's one of the wettest summers on record. We're still calculating, probably the fourth wettest so far. Jamesburg, 8 inches plus. Old Bridge, Colts Neck, Jersey City. The beat goes on. The ground is saturated. When it is saturated and rain falls, this water off the table, it just keeps on going. That's why the flood watches warnings remain. Now, I want you to watch the back edge right there. Okay, that's Staten Island. This storm is pinwheeling around. It's got a good band of moisture, and you don't want to get stuck under this downpour because this could be one to two inches in an hour. In addition to the six, seven inches, eight inches spots we've already had, there will be areas that get upwards of 10 inches of rain. Mike Leona in, Stacy in, Mike on the computer, the radar showing again, uh, Yonkers, Larchmont, Raven, you can see Ridgefield, you see Union City. It's weakening a little bit, but we don't care. We need to get this thing out of here, not weaken. It's degrading, if you will. Uh, the top wind's down 40 miles per hour. The storm itself is swinging itself out in terms of moisture, but has a lot of moisture to go, okay? That's how we see it. The radar composite still shows the axis north and west and north of the city. And again, we're going to watch it pinwheel around. There it goes. Van north of the city, heavy at time. Van east of the city, up to the north. Hudson River points west of the river. That's a good spot because that's where the reservoirs are, so we'll take that deal. All right? Again, you can see in the rapid precision by 730, it's trying to swing itself out. It's 11 o'clock. Consensus of the modeling, consensus of all the people here on staff is it is beginning to wind down. But that being said, bands still come on through probably until tomorrow late morning before it improves tomorrow in the afternoon or pop up scatter shower, maybe even a thunderstorm. So what do you expect out of this deal? First of all, we think the heaviest rain could take an hour, the midnight hour, then a slow process of tapering off. It will taper off tomorrow morning. It's good news. And then Tuesday, mostly sunny. Temperatures are going to be in the 80s. So stay put, stay in, stay safe, and uh, damage reports. Let's go over to Stacy. That's right, Mr. G. You said it. We have so much rain, the heavy bands picking up. That's where we're seeing the higher total. Some areas, we're talking one to two inches per hour, and that's going to continue, as Mr. G said, up until about the 11 o'clock hour, and then things will gradually start to wind down. Wanted to point your attention to where we're at right now. As you can see, that latest advisory has just come out, by the way. So we are now at maximum sustained winds, 40 miles per hour. So what does that tell us? Henri is continuing to weaken. It's barely a tropical storm. Here on out, things will really start to weaken even more so. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll be at 30 miles per hour. But I don't want you to get too hung up on that because the threat is still there. The threat for flooding, the threat for he heavy downpours throughout tonight, even the leftover showers, as G just mentioned, tomorrow as well. We have that flash flood warning. That's going to remain in play for a while. Uh, as you can see there, Rockland County, Westchester County, down to Bergen, all the way down into Essex County, Hudson, the five boroughs, Nassau County. So what does that mean? You got a whole lot of rain in a short amount of time will lead to flooding. We got a lot of pooling to talk about and a lot of storm reports that have come out as well. And this is all confirmed in Cranberry. Over 150 residents were evacuated by boat in the Middlesex County. We just saw images of that just not too long ago, as Kitey and Dan mentioned. And Greenville, uh, Bronx River Parkway shut down, completely closed. So folks who are maybe vacationing further north and trying to head back south, it'll be a, a rough go. Although the northbound side is closed, of course, you can expect some rubber necking problems as a result of that. And that was reported just after 3 o'clock. Hawthorne. DOT rep reported uh, flooding on the Taconic State Parkway. Both directions, we had some issues there. All lanes completely shut down as well. And we had some more issues. Rockway Boulevard, this and Valley Stream. And of course, all eyes have been on Nassau, Suffolk County, Long Island because of a, a lot of reports of uh, flooding there as well. And storm surge, still an important issue to have to contend with, up to about two feet, quite possible, especially the North Shore. We're paying close attention to that. So, what's to come? These are rainfall amounts that is expected between now. 
now and tomorrow afternoon. So we do have a ways to go. And let me tell you, this just in, we had record rainfall amounts at Central Park, 1.90. That's from midnight. We also had record rainfall for the day yesterday, uh, as well as for the hour between 10 and 11, 1.94. So records being broken all around. 